Welcome back to Conjurer. Today we'll be focusing on one of the decks that I've made, and that deck is the Stopper deck. The principle behind it is using Mesma and Quicksand's ability to prevent the enemy from attacking you while still being able to attack them. So what's in this deck is God Supports Me, Power Surge, Diversion, Ethereal Fairy, Adara, Paladin Kayla, True Believer, Mesma, Plagued Elk, Rogard, Quicksand, Hammer of Thor, and Lord Victus. As you can see we've got 6 Quicksands and 15 Mesma. so Mesma is the card you want to be drawing a lot of. So let's see how it handles in a real game. So we've got second turn, we haven't managed to draw a true believer in the opening hand, however we do have a good range. So I'll probably play a Kayla, buy a mana and use the god supports me. There we go, they finally did something. Thought for a second there I was going to be sitting there for two minutes and waiting. As promised, bought one Kayla and God supports me. I mean the two minutes waiting period isn't too bad but it does get very annoying if you have to wait. Right, so this turn we'll attack with our Kayla and we'll play a Mesma and buy a mana. Again, Mesma is just protecting our Kayla. We don't want her to die too early, but if Mesma doesn't get killed, then we can use him to top up. Our, or rather we can use our Kayla to top up our Mesma so I would love if Obi would play faster because a fast game is a good game so we've got a swift grog um, in that case we'll check our Mesma in front attack with our Kayla play our Rogard and another Kayla by mana. So here we'll see our Rogard being able to deal damage to their Swift Grog, whereas the Swift Grog won't be able to do anything to our Rogard. And hopefully the Paladin Kalers will be able to use both their abilities to just keep stacking hit points on all our stuff. So we've managed to draw another Mesma that's nice. Check one in front of that Gorthog. We'll play our Fairy. And what we'll do is we'll use our Rogard. Um, we'll move our Kayla over to the other side. And we'll use our Adara rather than playing another Mesma to kill the Gorthog. And we'll attack them for two and buy mana. So at the moment this whole front line except for this Mesma here is vulnerable to a fire and sword. 
However, they're going to choose to hammer Thor, the weaker Mesmer. I guess they want to gain access to my Ethereal Fairy. However, that's not going to work. So what we'll do here is we'll move our Mesmer, or we'll play our new Mesmer rather. We'll move our Ethereal Fairy across one behind the Kayla, who will attack the enemy. We'll use our Rogard to attack our Swift Rogue. We'll use our Mesmer with 6 health to attack our enemy Swift Rogue. <laughs> They've surrendered. But I was going to then move this Kayla here across into this gap and use our Adara to attack the Dagra. Alrighty, first turn. We've got a very healthy hand of Mesmas. Unfortunately, we've got nothing to support our Mesma. That's alright because they've played a Gorthog, so we'll meet it with our Mesmer. So they're going to play the moving Gorthog game. However, I am going to play a very similar game to them, except I'm going to use my Hammer of Thought early to kill the Gorthog and one for one their Rogard because I don't want them to establish Rogard. So we haven't actually drawn any God Supports Me yet, which is generally a bad sign. So they've double row guarded, which can be an issue, but we'll Plagued Elk and True Believer behind our Plagued Elk. I would have ideally loved to draw an Adara then, because then I could use Adara to wait the Plagued Elk back up and kill the second row guard. but hopefully this Plagued Elk will survive and then I'll place the quicksand in front of my True Believer. So there we go, now they can't do anything and my True Believer will protect our quicksand for one shot or one spell. That's actually where Mesma is at an advantage because Mesma will prevent Gorthog from attacking even if Mesma gets killed. Whereas Quicksand, as soon as Quicksand gets killed, Gorthog will be able to attack. So what we'll do is we'll double Mesma and end our turn. They're probably going to play another Adara, potentially, or well, they'll use their Rogard this time to kill off one of my Mesma.
Oh well, there we go. Um, this will be game over, so I'm just going to surrender because there's no way I can come back from that. That's what run run runs on. Uh, with no mass removal in this deck except for one or two, one or two hammers of Thor. There's no fire and swords or anything like that, so there's no point in flogging a dead horse, so to speak. So to keep Phoenix happy, we'll play an early Kayla True Believer combo. So Kayla gets killed off, and so does Elf True Believer. As a Oh, that puts us at a major disadvantage, however, we will carry on by drawing a card, buying the mana, playing the god supports me. It's interesting because I think there's only three diversions in this deck, and somehow I've managed to draw all three of them. So let's get this started already, we'll start the dance. So my Soul Gator, uh, sorry, my Diversion is going to protect my Mesma. So we will Mesma again and attack again and play our Ethereal Fairy to give our Diversion one attack. And we'll play another Diversion. interesting to see how he actually responds to this. We may use a spell. No, he's going to use a double Adara, sorry, a double Sewer Gator attack. Alrighty, and in that case we will attack and um, we'll kill off his Adara then we'll play out Adara to move our Mesma attack for one with our Fury kill the Asur Gator play another diversion, draw a card and spend one So again he's going to move and then use Soul Gator to attack the Division. And there's the Dravron. So again it's going to be game over very very quickly because I can't do anything. Um, absolutely nothing I can do. And so I'm just going to draw a card by mana. So this will be 11 damage that turn, then there'll be 16 damage next turn. Nothing I can do about 16 damage. Um, I can block one of it by doing this. So that's now 10 damage instead of 16. And we'll play, we'll draw a card. Okay, so he's going to choose to take out my Mesma rather than attacking me for the extra 5 damage. So 
see what we can draw. We've got a quicksand. That won't survive very long, but we'll play it anyway. Block 5 damage. This time he'll attack me, and he's probably got a, yep, a Dara. And that'll be the game, so... This deck really isn't designed to go up against huge creatures like that, especially when the opposition can get them out so quickly. Alrighty, we get a little bit of a better start this time. We've got some God Supports Me in hand. So we'll carry out a standard start. So they've chosen to drop a Kavara. So I'm going to play my Mesma in front of the Kavara. I'll play my Paladin Kayla behind. My Amana and our God supports me. So they've true believed. That's right, because we'll play our um, Victus and our God supports me. Hopefully they don't have a Hammer of Thor in their hand. So let's kill off that Kayla. That brings a um, God supports me back on top. So we'll draw that God supports me. And we will play a Mesma by Amana. We're not going to use our God supports me that we just drew because there is a Mesma on top of our discard pile at the moment. We want to redraw that. So that's Mesma on top. Mesma on top again. So we'll quicksand. I've actually played that the wrong way around. I should have played the quicksand in front of the fairy and the Mesma in front of the Kavara. So let's check the Kayla across anyway. So it looks like Candy is using a True Believer based deck and the principle behind that is basically using True Believer to I guess support all your cards Again, I've made an error, but I'll do this anyway. That'll only allow This deck is really not made to face mass removal like that, especially not early in the game anyway. Yeah, 
and as you can see not drawing anything useful it's a bit late now um, there's just too much true believer here so I'll end the turn even though I'm pretty sure I know what will happen what I think will happen was they'll either kill off the quicksand and then kill my true believer or they'll just attack and then there's a sewer gator as well so even with three Mesma there's nothing I can do All I can do is hope that I draw another one. But they'll do what? 4, 8, 12, 19 damage this turn potentially. Potentially more. Ideally I would love to show a win with this deck because it can work. but it's just too many of the higher um, power decks out there at the moment and they're now just toying with me by moving everything around making sure everything will get a shield and there's no point in continuing this match so that's how we use the surrender button a lot So let's once again have a look at the deck we've been using. So when you're not getting completely overwhelmed, um, this deck setup ideally is using Mesma to prevent their big creatures from attacking, using Diversion to stop your stuff getting killed, using your Ethereal Fairies to prevent the opposition using Kells and Slay Weakling on your cards, using Kayla to boost your health of your cards, using Rogard to deal damage over your walls of Mesma, and using your Adara to reawaken your Rogards, meanwhile using your True Believer to prevent the opposition one-shotting your creatures and then when the emergency arises using Hammer of Thor and a little bit of a Victor cycle because there's only two Victors in this deck it's not enough to cause a huge cycle however you can use it to just regenerate your Hammer of Thor cheers for watching I've been lost one I'll see you next time with a different deck